Hi guys, this is Raina, and today I'm going to do the Orange Glad food subscription um, unboxing. And all this stuff, it is a food subscription service um, box, but all the stuff in here is all um, from small companies that make um, artisan sweets and foods. So this is all small batch companies, and it just comes with this little booklet that tells you um, about it. And as far as pricing goes, it actually came with a letter that I don't know what happened to it, but it came with a letter that um, just briefly said that they were going to up their prices a little bit due to shipping costs. Um, so the box was going from 17 a month to 22 and um, their double sweets box was going from 27 to 30 I believe. I could be a little off on the pricing, but um, if you guys want to know about the pricing, just leave me a comment in the um, leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I will find out for you guys. But if um, you guys just want to head over, you can just head over to OrangeGod.com. The first thing is Annie B's homemade popcorn, and I don't really like um, caramel popcorn, but my mom loves it, so she will probably love eating it. So that's the first thing. Um, and then there's also from Annie B's, and I could not help it. I already looked, so I already know what's in here, but still pretty excited. Also from Annie B's, um, is the caramels, and they've sent these before, um, I think once, and they're really delicious. Next thing is a, it's a little broken, but it's a rustic bakery, and this is a buttery shortbread with Ritual, Roses, Espresso, and Chocolate Chips. So hopefully it doesn't really taste too much like coffee, because we're not coffee people, but it looks really yummy. So it's a shortbread, and it's crushed up in like a million pieces, but it's probably still going to taste really good. The next thing are these little tea cookies and it says Carolina Girl Cookies is the company I believe delectable rose tea cookies and the website is carolinagirlcooks.com so these are all like I said really small um, companies small batch companies is what they're called and they make artisan sweets next thing I've actually had before and I'm really excited about these is Quinn candy um you get 10 in here and these are dreams come chew which is really cute these are their little fruit chews they sort of taste like starburst but much more softer you don't feel like you're ripping your teeth out so there's those and while you guys just look at all the snacks back here i will read the little info booklet for you so you guys can um see about a little more information about the companies so first is quinn and Quinn Candy. It says Quinn began in 2013, and his vision and passion of founder and can candy created jammy curl. From the start, jammy has refused to use any fake ingredients, which is really nice to craft candy. Why? Because real food makes better candy, and better candy is the heart and soul of Quinn. They like to say that food, uh, candy is magic, and based on the response to Jamie's creations, like the fruit, chewy dreams, come chew, and smoked cola, come chops, they find a point difficult to argue at Quinn. They source fruit and nuts locally, which is really cool as well. Um, making good use of the abundance of their home in the Pacific Northwest. They handcraft all of the candy in small batches because it tastes better that way. So that's what it says about them. And then next, um, Rustic Bakery. It says Carol LaValle and Josh Harris started Rustic Bakery, Inc. on a whim in 05. LaValle was born in upstate New York but grew up in Danville and Huntington Beach. And Harris was born and raised in Walnut Creek. They both attribute their preparedness for the pace of Rustic's growth to their previous voc uh, vocational incarnations as buyers and designers. For the fashion world, um, it says the business has grown to three cafes and a wholesale division with 28 products. That's pretty cool. So they've really grown a lot. Um, Carol and Josh can still remember sitting at a kitchen table and seeing their first tray of crackers come out of the oven. It says espresso chocolate chips shortbread. Um, flavored with San Francisco's ritual roasted espresso coffee and Calabot dark chocolate chips with a sandy sugar finished. And it always tells you the best buy date of how long this 
the products will last. So this one and says enjoy within six months. Next is Annie B's. It says Annie B's was founded in 1978 by Tom and Carol Boquet. Um, Boquet. I don't know if you actually pronounce it like Boquet. In Kellogg, Minnesota, I think. That, is that Minnesota? Oh, or Mississippi. Uh, I can't remember. No, not Mississippi. Minnesota. It has to be Minnesota. So, sorry, guys. On with it. The couple enjoyed making caramels out of the kitchen. As soon as they discovered they could make a living doing just that, they named their business after their daughter, Annie. A few years later, handcrafted popcorn was added to their products. What a hit. The caramels are slow cooked in large copper kettles, so they are sure to be consistently buttery and delicious and they are really buttery and delicious oprah winfrey gave annie b's caramel a stamp of approval by naming annie b to her favorite things list in 2014 so that's really cool it's oprah approved um and he has more about their butter rum caramel it says handmade in copper pots annie b's caramels are all natural and gluten free they use real ingredients and slow cook every batch to ensure every single caramel is amazing and then there's a look at the ingredients and best within six months the popcorn is handcrafted in small batches the caramel popcorn is made to order so it's always fresh and delicious that's really cool it's made to order so i really like that the rose tea cookies it says the first time Jennifer expands the captivating flavor of lavender. She was having dessert during a night out with a group of girlfriends. She fell in love with the flavor and immediately began experimenting with recipes of her own. Oddly enough, their fragrant flower kept finding its way into sweet, delicious cookies. From there, Carolina Girl Cooks tea cookies were born. Creating the perfect package meant the most because soon Jennifer learned the meaning of lavender when given as a gift. The promise of new adventure is what it means. So... Could you imagine anything more perfect? Jennifer's sincerest hope is that each artfully crafted cookie tin will serve as a reminder that small passions can turn into wild adventures in the most unexpected and thrilling ways, just as lavender has for her. It says, subtle yet elegant, the rose tea cookies are made with the finest dried edible rose petals and delicate rose water. Um... One bite is like a stroll through a summer garden, and the best by date doesn't please enjoy within one month. And then the ingredients are right there. It says refer to package. Sorry, the ingredients aren't right there. Um, so they always send this little booklet, which is really helpful. Um, I'm really excited about the tea cookies and the Quinn candy because I've actually had those chews before, and they're really delicious like, better than Starburst delicious. And the cookies are really intriguing to me because i wonder how much or how little they actually taste like um flowers so that'd be really interesting I've never actually had any edible flowers before so i'm really excited about that my mom will love the popcorn mm, and so so on the espresso because we don't really like coffee in this house <gasps> i know i said it guys we don't really like coffee i drink it sometimes and i've had the caramels before so i can tell you that they're really amazing um, if you guys want exact pricing information, you can ask me down in the comment section below um, or head on over to www.orangeglad.com. But this is the May 2016 box. I forgot to mention that, but it will be on the headline, guys, so um, you, you'll know what you're watching. But this is the May 2016 box, and I really love Orange Glad. It's been the only really subscription of food subscription that I am super happy with every single month and I love everything if not almost everything in every box um so I'm really been happy about that it is a little bit on the pricier side but it's all really like um artisan sweet small batch um home cooks and stuff like that so you get some really interesting stuff that you probably would never discover on your own since it's not made from a real large company that is just sold in your grocery store which i also like too because it's like special in a way um and it's also really nice to support these local and non-local small um businesses as well so like i said if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below i'm more than happy to answer you feel free to let me know what other types of videos you want to see or what other unboxings you want me to do um and please subscribe to my channel thanks guys bye for now